Welcome back to King's Quest 6. So let's, uh, now that we've completed the Island of the Second Mountain, let's, um, I think I go back to the Island of, of oh, actually no, we're, we're going back to the Island of, of Alexander yeah, we're going to back to the Isle of the Mists. That's right, a new island that opened yeah, up, the Isle of the Mists. Whoa. All right, let's explore, I guess. Hmm. All right. Oh, okay. So that means that there's some kind of Indians or druids or something in the. So let's just. Uh, I'm gonna take a wild guess, and that it's a good idea to stay away from them. So let's just. Yeah. Take yeah. what we take. What, take what we can find and leave. <laughs> yeah. All right. Better not leave. Uh, Better not leave anything that may oh, lead, and guess lead what, us back and guess to what, us. guys? We got ourselves uh, a piece of black coal. You, know, you, know, you might remember how the, the Red Queen and the um, White Queen from Chessboard Land were fighting over a lump of coal. So maybe we can give this one to them. That, that way they will stop fighting over the one lump of coal they have. Mm-hmm. And, yes, and yes, don't worry, audience. I'm not stone. That's actually a thing in this game. <laughs> Chessboard Land... <laughs> Chessboard. Don't, don't you remember those? Uh, we found chessboard. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay. Exactly. I'm surprised. I'm surprised those sense dwarves don't come round now. Uh, we well, we they. I guess go into the book. <laughs> I I'll die if I do that. But um, so yeah, we'll get that later. But but I thought, but I thought Alexander always wanted a mud bath. <laughs> a small bottle on the coffee table. A small bottle. It wasn't there before. Hmm. Um, I, wouldn't, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't drink it. Drink me. A reference to Alice in Wonderland, by the way. Obviously. All it's right. the Isle of Wonder, of course. But before we see what the mysterious bottle has, let's um, give the lump of coal to them. Yeah. Any time now, Queenies. Now we need to do the um, intro music, Jova. Yeah. There they are. Yes, it shall. No, it shan't. Yes, it shall. No, it shan't. Yes, it shall, because my god says so. <laughs> no, it shan't, because my cannon says otherwise. Bang! An interesting thing is that the actress playing the Red Queen uh, will later also be one of the voice main voice actresses in um, in the next game. You and your cannons, I've got an atom bomb! Beat so, that bitch! So yeah, they're asking us, are you there, I've got a hydrogen bomb! Alright, there he goes. Conveniently, we have a lump of coal. Oh! Well, that solves the hat. She's got a better lump of coal than I have. Let's fight some more. <laughs> so what do I get in trade for this lump of coal? Um, a rock. Uh, you're on uh, you're on the right path, but try again. Um, a magical rock. <laughs> yes, it's actually useful. Remember, this is the red and white queen we're talking. Hold on. Royal. Uh, what? I love his reaction. Uh, <laughs> what did he get? <laughs> Sorry, what did he get? A spoiled egg. A spoiled spoiled egg. egg. Yeah, that will um, that will help in our quest tremendously. Believe it or not, Ed, be, be, believe it or not, Ed, it actually it actually will because it's uh, part of a, a spelling uh, of a spell. <laughs> Never. I knew it. I knew this would um would, would not help their situation at all. <laughs> Actually, it kind of did. Yeah, right. Jova, now they're arguing about something else. They're arguing about uh, the fact that the lump of coal I gave them is actually bigger than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pedro, question. Do you get killed if you try to walk into the chessboard land? No, the horses just tell me, no, hold, you can't pass here and shit. Uh, 
Don't touch the vines, whatever you do. All right, now that we're done with that, let's actually try drinking the bottle. What could possibly go wrong? Sure. Uh, here. Of not all this, places. Not, not this one, though. First, I'm going to put this in here. Do I, is it another? Yeah. All right. Hmm. Oh, now, disintegrates. How convenient. Now let's drink. No, Graham. No, Graham. Don't. Ah! <laughs> uh oh, that last step was a doozy. Suddenly, his vision fades to black. Oh. Well, shit. Whoa. Oh, 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 seizure. And this will probably scare all the children. <laughs> nah, just fine. There you go. Hold on. Suddenly, his heart takes a lurch, <gasps> then beats strong. Okay. Was this meant to give them a fake out? Uh, basically, what the, the effect of the bottle is, it basically uh, makes makes your body look like it's dead for for a few seconds. His vision clears, and Alexander is fine. He used the the word. Phew. For a minute there, I thought, what if someone else had seen me and thought, sounds. <laughs> Sounds. <laughs> anyway, yeah, basically, so what you're, you're probably wondering, what possible use can we get with a bottle that has this liquid? Well, uh, that, 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 that should have, let's just say Alex has a pretty, is going to get a pretty clever idea. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back to the Isle of the, I think I'll go back to the, yeah, Isle of the Crown. Yeah. Click it, Pedro. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 Come on! Dun, 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 yeah, dun, I think, I, yeah, before I, before I do it, I, um, I actually go to the Elder Beast now that I can, now that I can actually pass through the other traps, yeah. So yeah, we, we still haven't figured out exactly what's in, what exactly is in the Isle of the Beast, so let's get on with it. No, Grim, don't! <laughs> Okay, so we have to get past that thing that shoots us on sight. Fortunately, we got a shield in the labyrinth, so... Okay. Hey, this this reminds me of the, of an old British game show we used to have called Nightmare, where you had to have certain items in order to progress, and if you didn't, you get killed. Yeah. We should watch that, actually. Oh yeah, that show was awesome, actually. I actually, I actually saw a couple episodes on the internet. Yeah. It ran for seven seasons, though, so we're going to be there for a while. Flowering rose hedges grow on either side of the path winding north. From the late 80s to 1994. <laughs> <laughs> Year before I was born. How keen. So yeah, when jo Jova's birth killed the show. The <laughs> hashtag thanks to Jova. <laughs> yeah. If it's in the consolation, my birth did bring in the PlayStation. But then again, there was also a revival one-off revival of the show a year, oh, a year or two oh, ago. On YouTube. Oh, on YouTube. Well, well, in that case, you're welcome for the revival. So, yeah. There's, the, there's only a one-off. So, yeah, the hot pond, uh, the arrow statue, and now these magical vines are, once again, trying to stop us from getting further into the island. Fortunately, we've got a side. Pardon me for a moment. Sure. The leaves fly as Alexander, tries to cut the branches faster Alexander is addicted to plant life. Ding. He sees light. He sees the, the light. It burns. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Hello there. Ah. Ugh. My name is Alexander. I didn't mean to disturb your private garden. No. And yet, Monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the Yeah. I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. <laughs> <laughs> it's your nature. <laughs> I know the nature of well, he is a Daventry, so he kind of has a point, I guess. Daventry is da the people of Daventry are dicks to everyone. Ding, 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 ding. ding. <laughs> it is really 
it was so powerful it broke anyway the yeah now we get what the island gets its name from this is beast from beauty and the beast i'm surprised we didn't get um Robbie Robbie Benson Benson to, to voice him. well by the time the movie came out robbie benson was uh by the time the movie was already voicing alex and they probably already had cast actor for this role too because this movie but because this this movie uh, this game came out was in development uh, at the same time that the movie was released so mm. it, it depends on on circumstances anyway basically there's a curse anyone uh, th those turns out those traps were actually more for protection of me rather than beast himself anyone who enters this garden will now be cursed and will turn turn into a beast uh, too and ba so basically I, i'm going to turn into a, a pet beast uh, for a uh, so, I, so basically, I'll be his pet. Ha, huh, get it? Because Roddy Benson and all that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be right, I'll be right back. I need to go there. Yeah, nice job. You are <laughs> to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave. A slave as beastly as I am. You have only a few hours of humanity left. But that's not possible. Enjoy. <laughs> there must be some way to break the enchantment. Spells always have a weakness somewhere. The enchantment you are under is tied to my own. Or the sorceress left me a way out. But I'm afraid it was only her final bitter joke. You see, I need only find a maiden to join me here. To share my castle, my life, willingly. <laughs> Take another look at me. You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. I shall try to find such a maid. For Cosima's sake. Truly? <laughs> How determined of you. I personally would not waste my last few hours as a man on an impossible errand. However, yeah. you may do as you please. I give you this token. It's my family ring and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... <sighs> I shall give her this ring. Yes. She must accept it of her own free will. By doing so, she accepts me. Hmm. Not that you shall find anyone by you. Your time is short. Count the minutes on your fingers while your fingers you have. <laughs> <laughs> if Dave <deep> was here. <laughs> Bling. All right. So yeah, like uh, we are, we're kind of on a timer. So let's go, 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 go. Well, I go fast. Hey, look, it's a cute Got bunny. It. Oh, you gone now. All right. So yeah, fortunately, we do remember seeing a certain beautiful maiden who's down in, in her luck in the first yep. part. So let's go. Let's go and meet her. Whoa! All right. Here we go. But first, pawn shop. Or not. Obviously. Uh, or not. Actually, no. Yeah. I was probably thinking whether I wanted to go to the pawn shop or not. Oh, here we go. Um. Okay. Welcome back to okay. Basically... Uh, there's a problem, uh, uh, Dwebs. Basically, there's a curse um, where by entering the beast's garden, I become cursed as well. So I'll become basically a pet for the, the beast, unless I manage to find a, uh, a, some, some, a maiden who actually accepts beast uh, on her free will. On her free will. Fortunately, Cinderella here um, is kind of down on her luck, so pro she's probably a good candidate. Yeah, I'll take anything over having to work for my evil stepsisters. And step and stepmother. 
That will serve no purpose. Okay, now it will. Like a fresh white rose? Alexander can see the conflict in the girl's pretty face as she fights between her distrust of him and her desire for the white rose. The rose wins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't, sir, but it is so lovely. I've never seen a rose of white. It looks so pale and delicate. And yeah, that's Rissy Taylor, too. Many hedges of them on the Isle of the Beast, and they grow together like magic. Old Yedge. Oh, truly? What an adventure that must be to see them. Who voices this woman again? Rissy Taylor. Oh. AKA, yeah, I AKA, AKA just the, told you. AKA huh. the voice of Minnie. Alright, now that we've managed to get her trust, let's actually propose. Okay, can you... You want to come here to me and marry someone we don't know? Okay, thanks. <laughs> he decides to bring up the subject of beast with her. <clears throat> Let me tell you about the place where the white roses grow. The Isle of the Beast is an enchanted place. There's a path running through a deep. Yes, I like it there. I mean, um, no, sorry, I'm not beast in this in this game, am I? <laughs> no. Nope. Magic blockade? How exciting! <laughs> okay. It is a beast that walks on two legs and dresses like a prince. It speaks with the voice of a man. A beast that talks and wears clothes? How is that possible? <laughs> is the beast magic too? Lady, we live in a fantasy world. Come on. Don't I'm be, surprised. Don't You're be not such a skeptic. <laughs> Not to mention, uh, she knows that there there is a genie in the kingdom. So uh, so so if there's a genie, uh, uh, is is the, is the thought of being a beast that talks really such a stretch? <laughs> yeah. I have met him. He is indeed ferocious, but who would not be? He really exists. Oh. <laughs> A beast might find comfort in a kind face. Do you not think it's so? Uh, um, I guess. Mm -hmm. I very much think it's so. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so. <laughs> you, you can hear uh, Alexander saying it said, Oh, she's totally falling for it. <laughs> I could take you there. In fact, I would owe you my life. I could leave here? Oh, I have always dreamt of leaving. But to actually go. This is the only home I have ever known. True. Home is a hard place to leave. Even if you're unhappy there. But yep, he would know. If I can help him, I must go. Well, there we go then. Yay! Come on, uh, girl. Come on, girly. We're kind of on a timer, so would you please you know, yeah, if, pick up the pace? Uh, if, if, if this were Minnie Mouse, you'd be, <laughs> you'd be out that door in a second. Then take this ring. It is his. He will be pleased if you would wear it. Why, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thank you kindly, sir. Beauty. <laughs> Mm. Fuck you. You know, if this were modern days, she'd be shouting back fuck you at her or something. Totally not Beauty and the Beast, we swear. Whoa! Ah! Oh. <laughs> the enchantment has been... into, into Louis the Fourteenth. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Oh. Okay, now it's Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella. Yeah. But it's kind of interesting that they actually managed to mix the two fairy tales into one. Well, then again... I guess, oh, oh, by the way, uh, Dweb, take a wild guess. What reward does she give us for saving her from being a slave all her life? Cheek kiss. Her, sa her slave clothes. How? Uh, thank how you. Lovely. I'm sure we'll find good use for him. Believe it or not, that guy, look, that, that guy looks like somebody you see in a British court of law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty. I, I don't know if we still have those white wigs or not. Mm, uh, in courts, maybe, but not. Yeah, in, yeah, in courts, yeah. Like uh, they, 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 they did, they, they did use them in the Monty Python, in one of the Monty Python skits involving courts. But, um, aside from that, I don't really remember. Anyway, yeah, and as and again, and of course that mongoose there has a shining eye, so the genie is still spying on us. Mm -hmm. Alright, and now here's one other ingredient we need to get for our spell book. Falling water, and that's falling water right there, so let's put it in our lamp. Sure. Alexander there you go. Indeed. All right, we're done with the Isle of the Beast. Okay. Yay! Well, now that we've um, we've saved the Isle of Wonder, the Isle of um... I'm surprised the arrow didn't fire at you again. <laughs> I still love that fucking walking side animation. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, uh. Water! If I dip my foot in it, I'll be dragged out to sea! Well, actually, well, who do you think you are, Sonic? Well, well, as we've established, even though we did throw the ice lettuce into it, it's still uh, technically hot. It's just it's just not hot enough to kill him. Well, then again, this is this, this is the Davin, this is a Davin tree place. If, um, if, of males, if he... I'll, I'll bet you there'll be... Uh, could you imagine in the future Geek's Quest game, if you dip your finger in the water, you'll get tugged out. I can imagine. I can imagine if they had put a, a swimming section section in the re, in the remake, and uh, uh, fan purists would probably go, "No, Graham can swim for more than five meters. Betrayal, ruined forever." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he got weaker with age. I guess. <laughs> That's right, the Make Rain spell. Clouds of thunder, shafts of oh great, I'm gonna make even more water. Wow, he's actually reciting his po his, the, the spells with emotion this time. Yay! <laughs> I don't have to dub him over. Maybe the Bob with the and shit. Well, they got a natural- well, this- uh, in this game he has an actual act voice actor, so... Not some guy they dragged off the street. Good job we didn't, okay, good job we, I'm back now. Welcome good job back, we didn't cast a, Good job we didn't cast a storm spell on a pirate ship. <laughs> you missed the well, uh, you, you missed the subplot, Joe. But basically, we remember Cinderella from the beginning of the game. Basically, yeah. we, br we brought her to Beast from Isle of the Beast, and basically they mixed the Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella fairy tales into one. Like for example, cool. like for example, while the Beast became human because by by having Beauty accept him. Uh, Cinderella turned her clothes into pretty clothes, just like in the Cinderella fairy tale. So basically, they mixed two fairy tales into one. Nice. And at least they lived happily ever after. Just uh, like we hopefully will. All right. So now that um, we're not oh, gonna use the yeah the the lamp cellar again. Yeah. He's gonna have. A we'll get back to him. Okay. So. I Basically, I came in here so to see if Jalo was again in here, but he's not, so whatever. Let's go back mm. and uh, back to the pawn shop. Hey, you know the part earlier with um, with that good swimmer that Alexander tried to jump in after, but he got tugged out to sea? Yeah. What about it? When I first saw the death videos, I just thought it was just some dick. Perhaps just some dick <laughs> daring him into doing something, but he just... Yeah, but, when a, I, but, when I, but no, it was it was the um, the genie. Yeah. Speaking of the genie, there he is. There, once again disguised. So basically, this is where uh, we're going to put on a clever facade for the genie, shall we say? Hmm. 
I, I love this. I love this entire scene, by the way. So pay attention. By the way, Pedro, are you supposed to do this here, or is yeah, like, um, is there like a penalty? You, 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 you don't do this. Uh, there isn't. You can technically go by without it because. It, oh, hold on. I can't go on He's gonna pull out Romeo and Juliet. I am a fake Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> well. Oh, what a waste. The poor young fool. He had so many useful items. <laughs> seconds later. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Ives. Seconds later. Anyway. Eight seconds later in the castle. Not like everybody else. Sorry, master. I couldn't help myself. I'm great news. <laughs> well, what is it? Prince Alexander is dead. He killed himself in despair. And by the way, uh, we have to pay attention in this scene because uh, we actually get to see um, the genie go back into his lamp, and that's going to be important for later. Sure it will. Boy. Alright. So his lamp is that, okay. Du duly noted. Here we go. Prince Alex, but you, you were... Sorry. Link! Doing a little acting, I'm afraid. Ah, of course, the strange cloaked man. You are quite clever. And a bit too exciting for an old man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Alright. Yeah. I, I love how he immediately accepts that. <laughs> yeah. Well... Big... Like I said, he's awesome. Like, I, I, gu I guess, um... Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex, please. Of course, Prince Alex, please. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter. You know, I almost swear that he sounds like James Earl Jones, and I'm actually sort of surprised oh, it's not James Earl yeah, Jones. Brush. Yeah, it's the painter's brush. Very good, Prince Alex. The painter's brush it is. May your painting go well. Thank you. All right. Well, I wonder what I don't like it. With, I wonder what marvelous masterpieces will paint with that wonder. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> We're not going to storm the castle just yet, though. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically. There we go. The quick, quick, oh, let's cross that. dress and then sneak in for that way. Actually, Joe, but you just called it. Oh. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Basically, I'm going to save the game here, and then I'm gonna go. I'm going to basically infiltrate the castle by sneaking in, so I can get the lesser lesser ending, so I can show it off. And then uh, we'll go back to um, this part of the game, and so I can go uh, do the other alternate path uh, and get the better ending. Yep. Keen. Okay, so in the next part, everybody, we'll use uh, Beauty's clothes to to sneak into the palace, pretending to be okay. free. Of course. See you, everybody. See you. See ya.